Be sure to like and subscribe for more from Captain Ron Phillips here on YouTube. Uh oh. Your bloodthirst has caused enough trouble. My bloodthirst is what keeps us alive. We are Klingons, not spineless ga. Or have you forgotten? Consider your next words to me very carefully, Akka, for they may be your last. I hope we're not interrupting anything important. Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Online. This is Captain Ron Phillips here. So we are thro in the throes of another Klingon Civil War. Ja'ula has shown up with House Mokai to challenge chance the, our, our Chancellor here. Jim Pock is furious. Half the Klingon Empire decided to choose uh, to join sides with Ja'ula. And uh, thankfully for us, for us, we have Martok with us. So, Jim Pock has sent Martok and I to the famed planet of Kittimer because we believe that Ja'ula may actually be here. So we are going to be here and be here and trying to arrest her. So this is the Kittimer Discord. Let's see if we can find her. Times like this, every warrior needs someone they can trust at their side. And when fighting the Mokai, someone to watch their back as well. Good to see you too, General. Cogran's here in that fancy new Alliance ship of his, flying Overwatch. Perhaps he's picked up some intel that could help us track down the Matriarch. Well, let's find out. Helm set a course to Kinemer's location. Give my regards to the Ferryman. If the Mokai want to fight, then a fight they shall have. To battle! Alright. Skirmishers warping in to test our metal. They have not found us lacking. As for Jaula, we picked up some chatter recently. Nothing verified, but what is it? Intelligence thinks she's in space, under cloak, planning her next attack. But the chatter suggests she may be planet side, working with people friendly to her cause. A bold move, if it's true. I suggest sending a team to the surface to investigate. Hawk Nook Care! Consider every possibility. Hmm, yes, good advice. We're picking up some erratic readings from the outer part of the sector. Could be more skirmishers trying to sneak in and sink their blades in our backs. We'll deal with it. You should keep looking for the matriarch. Understood. Good hunting. And tread carefully. A nest of diplomats can be a dangerous place. Indeed. Good luck, Captain Cogran. <laughs> when the Ferengi say the bigger the smile, the sharper the knife, I believe they had diplomats in mind. <laughs> Interesting point. I know some people down there. We might be able to get some intel out of them, provided they don't bore us to death with their witless banter. Well, that's a risk we're going to have to take, I'm afraid. See you planet side, General. Check in. Tedious, but necessary. The front desk officer might have some insight on the Jaula situation as well. They see every face that comes in the official. Alright, let's go. As if John Wayne were a Klingon, he would say, let's get to the ligament chewing. This building used to be a monument to Klingon glory. Much has changed. Yeah, unfortunately it has. Ever since that one Romulan sacrificed himself to make the Ro uh, Romulan Republic official. Um, Welcome yeah. to the diplomatic chambers. Several delegates are present to discuss the Mokai Rebellion in the Chamber of Alliance nearby. 
Speaking of Mokai, rumor has it Ju'ula might be on the grounds. Hmm. That is an interesting rumor, considering that several blood feuds have been declared against House Mokai. I would find that... unlikely. Not to mention messy. I see. And where can we find the delegates? You will find the Klingon delegation in the central area of the Chamber of Alliance. It is flanked on the left and right by the Romulan and Federation delegations, respectively. The delegation from the Dominion can be found across from the Klingons until their formal section is completed. Thank you. Let's see what the delegates know. The Chamber of Alliance is a couple of rooms ahead of us. Tell Martok's not a big fan of this. So, this is the Chamber of Alliance. Ha! Huh. It wasn't long ago that it was called the Chamber of Conquest. I spent many a night in here drinking blood wine and singing songs to honor the glorious dead, heroes all. <sighs> Those days are gone. Conquest has given way to alliance. Diplomacy. Yeah, I'm sorry, General. Do you see anyone you recognize here? Several. I know three of the four delegates here. Some more than others, but enough to get their ear and see what they know about Jaula's whereabouts. Which one of the four don't you know? The one from the Dominion. They must have assigned a new porta. I don't recognize this one. You'd better do the talking. Porter and I do not always get along. Understood. Let's see if anyone knows anything useful. Okay. The Romulan wing is up these steps. Yeah, let's start with the Romulans here. Ambassador Devene says that, right? Greetings. I take it from the scowl on General Martok's face that this is not a social call. What brings you here today? We're trying to track down Matriarch Jewula. Ah, yes. The name on so many lips these days. Fascinating woman. I suspect she'd make a good Romulan. After a visit to the tailor, of course. <laughs> As for her whereabouts, I must disappoint you. I haven't the slightest idea where she is, and more's the pity. There's a considerable bounty on her head. Enough to buy a small moon, I'm told. Are you certain? We've good reason to think she's here. As a child, I had good reason to think my grandfather was blown up by James Kirk in the neutral zone. Only later did I learn he died in an alley after an ill-advised life choice involving a senator's mistress. You can see why my parents chose to tell me he died a hero, hmm? Oh, sometimes we delude ourselves to avoid unpleasant truths. And such delusion can spread like wildfire in times of crisis. So awfully sinister talking fellow for a man from the, Repu from the Romulan Republic and not the Empire. Hmm. Thank you. Okay. That was interesting. This is who Jampak chose to be our representative? Ambassador Garku. Well, let's talk to the Dominion guy here first. Ooh, what's this one looks particularly smug, even for a Vorta. Ambassador Dalva. On behalf of the Founders and of the Dominion they created, I welcome you. Tell me, how may I be of assistance? Have you heard anything about Ju'ula being seen in this area? What a fascinating question! Can you imagine how chaotic it would be in this hollowed hall if that were so? I honestly don't know who would kill her first, though I suppose the logical choice would be a member of the Klingon delegation. Look how arrogant this guy is. Mm. 
Perhaps you've heard something uh, off the record? I'm afraid I'm not one to give consideration to rumors and idle gossip. I am a Vorta, after all. We prefer to operate in the realm of fact and truth. I do wish you success in your endeavors, however. Realm of fact and truth, my foot. But thanks anyway. Where's the stairs? There's the stairs. The Federation Wing is up these steps. Here's Ambassador Sugahara and Ambassador Aura. Let's see what Jiro has to say. Ah, get out of my way, pal. Hello. It's hard to believe this is real sometimes. Consider. Two years ago, the Klingons and the Federation were at war, the Romulan Republic was in its infancy, and the Dominion was a vast, silent enigma. Indeed. And now, we have a grand alliance spanning across all four quadrants, a symbol of galactic diplomacy at its finest. This place was once a symbol of conflict and conquest. Now, it is a beacon to all, a tribute to peace and friendship. For some, certainly. For others, like Martok here, old memories die hard. Perhaps. I prefer to see Kittimer as a statement. Despite the great threats from forces like the Borg, the Iconians, and the Herc, when we stand together, we survive the storm. And what of the current threat? Matriarch Ja'ula. Alliance efforts to bring her to justice and end her campaign of terror are in full effect, as you know. We've come too far together to see a misguided warrior from a darker time bring it all crashing down around us. We will prevail, my friend. Count on it. Well, I hope you're right, Ambassador, for all our sakes. General Martok, on behalf of the United Federation of Planets, welcome. How may I be of assistance? I'm investigating the whereabouts of Matriarch Ja'ula. What can you tell me? Well, she's been a topic of spirited debate here for some time now. Her recent actions at Konos and Kuvat have placed the Empire into a state of civil war, after all. As to her whereabouts, Starfleet is doing all it can to find her and bring her to justice. But she is quite elusive, as one would expect from the leader of House Mokai. I am afraid I have no idea where she might be. And unofficially? I have no comment in that regard. Though should the Federation's position on the matter change, I will be quite happy to let you know. Well, thank you for your time. Now, let's get to some real ligament chewing here. Let's talk to our Klingon representative. Kavar, the famous hero, and the infamous General Martok. Tell me, what brings the likes of you to this glorified double hall? If I know Martok, and I do, it isn't to chew ligament and rattle on about the price of tuna berries. Have you heard anything about Ja'ula being seen on Kittimer? Ja'ula? Pa! That craven witch doesn't have the spine to show her face. Even in a place like this, she's not even a true Mokai. She married into the house to get her pathetic father out of debt. The only member of that line worth anything was Takuma. Glory to his name. And yet there are rumors she's here. Yes, well, you didn't hear this from me. But there's a reason the Mokai harlot still draws breath. And it isn't a good luck. She has powerful friends. Some of them spend a lot of time on Kitama, if you follow my meaning. So, find your words around here. They can make their way to her ears. And we can't have that, can we? Mm-hmm. She is here, I'm sure of it. We just need to keep digging. I believe it's time to escalate things. Let's go straight to the top, to the chairman himself. 
He's a crafty old schemer. If anyone knows, it'll be him. All right, let's see what the chairman has to say. <laughs> Wide smiles all around. Their knives must be sharp indeed. All right, Martok, you're starting to sound like a Ferengi. Chairman Kasenata. Okay, he's from Frasian, like me. Greetings, gentle beings. Until now, I have only known you by reputation. I am pleased to finally meet you both face to face. I've received word from Kronos regarding your mission here. How can I help? Recent intel suggests Jahula is operating on Kittimer. Here. That would be unsettling if it were true. My security staff takes great care in their vetting procedures. If Matriarch Jaula has spies in our ranks, they'd know about it. I would know about it. Sadly, I think you're chasing your tail in this world. Literally. That remains to be seen, sir. Mm. Watch this. What? I think you need to see this. It just came through on all channels. Well, let's see it. Wait, is that? There was a time when I believed my brother's cry of remain Klingon was unnecessary. That no true Klingon would need such a reminder. But now I know the truth of it. Then and now. There are those who have forgotten what it means to be Klingon. The tyrant Jempak seeks prosperity for his house alone and tosses scraps to those he deems loyal. He has forgotten what it means to be Klingon. It is a lesson I am happy to teach him in battle. Join me, and you can do the same. Join me, and together we can show Jempak what it means to be warriors, what it means to have honor. What it means to be Klingon! Impressive speech. This is the break we need. That signal didn't come from space. She's planet side. Somewhere. So much for the chairman's vetting procedures, eh? If it's a local signal, we can trace it. We must act quickly. Start to trace in here. See what we can find. All right, let's go. signal is getting stronger. Oh. This is a localized signal unit. Clever. We're getting warmer, but we're not there yet. It looks like the signal is coming from within the chamber of our lives. Let's get moving. All right, everybody, stay with me. Martok, come on. We should check the Chamber of Alliance for the broadcast signal. Well, we're going to. The signal is getting stronger. signal is getting stronger. The signal is getting stronger. Another relay unit. Typical Mokai deception. Let's see that. <laughs> if I'm reading this right, the signal is coming from the Gallery of Honor. All right, let's move out. Come on, everybody. Keep up with me. The signal is getting stronger. signal is getting stronger. Most human operas are timid, but I do enjoy the one with the cloud. Hmm. Interesting. 
This relay unit is getting a signal from below us, in the underchambers. There is an access stairway that goes down there nearby. It's behind one of the doors in the arrival courtyard. Let's get to it. We have nothing to say to you. Be gone. I don't want to even talk to you. Hush. Know your place. Here. This door should take us downstairs. Ah. The last time I was down here, I had uh, too much to drink and thought I was on my way to the transporter room. <laughs> I take it you found something else instead. Uh, let's just say it's easy to get lost down here. And leave it at that. Fine with me. Know this. There are plenty of dark places down here where Jaula and her forces could be hiding. Keep your weapon ready. If there's one thing Mokai loves, it's a good ambush. Alright. Ready weapons. House Kalek, what are you doing down here? Mark, you of all people should know that Jimpak is unworthy to rule. You carry the blade of Kalos. You led warriors against the Herc. Why do you follow such a dishonorable Bichnu? Kalos he is not, but Jempak has preserved the Empire through many a conflict. I may not like him. But I respect him. He has preserved the Empire by making us the lackeys of the Federation. When the Herc returned, he hid behind his throne. That is not the way of a true Klingon. You should fight at Jeweler's side instead of begging for scraps at Jimpak's table like a toothless old tar. That's enough. Jeula, where can we find her? Do you take me for a Venturi? I will not betray the matriarch to the likes of you, Jaka! Fine. General, I think Klingon prisoners should be held on your ship. Have this one beamed to the brig. Stop it, fool, but loyal. We're going to have to keep looking. Let's start with that door over there. Looks like the only unlocked one in here. Alright, let's start with that. I truly love the architecture here. Whoever made it has a great eye for the, uh, I want to say, warrior mystique here. Oh yes, the warrior mystique. Okay, the Vorta loves it here. What's a purple people dropper? A purple people dropper? A most delicious beverage. It's a mixture of Romulan ale and blood wine. You can tell if it is correctly by the shade of purple it becomes. I've yet to find a human who can drink a properly made one and keep standing. <laughs> this place. The food is terrible. The liquor is a joke. And everyone wants to argue about something. Yes, the last part is a delight, but the rest? Inconceivable. Inconceivable. We don't know where that came from. I must admit that there is some wisdom in what Jaula said today. The fact that Martok still breathes tells me Jempok became Chancellor through dishonorable means. I will listen to what she has to say. Where does she want to meet? The Chairman's aide is a close confidant of Jaula's. Talk to him, and he will 
make the arrangements. Get ready for Mokai paranoia. You'll be blindfolded, unarmed. They even carry you so you can't count your steps. I did hear someone using a door passcode at one point, but that's to be expected. You'd be paranoid too if half the Empire was looking to send you to Stovacor the hard way. I will speak to Cassenator's aid then. Try not to catch any bugs down there in the dark, old friend. Interesting. Hmm. Sounds like we need to get our hands on that passport. That Karuk we beamed to my brig probably knows it. But we don't have time to get it out of here. Any ideas? That band of Mokai we dealt with aren't likely to be the only rebel down here. Let's keep looking around. I'll wager we find more, and when we do, we'll just have to be very a switch. Mm, understood. Let's get to it then. Old Kastanita is one of Lady Jabula's puppets. I'm sure of it. House Bavat? There's a name I haven't seen in a while since our Federation uh, character first started. He's the one who kept trying to fiddle with time and change uh, the course of events in the Klingons' favor. And he also woke up the Doomsday device. I have nothing to say to you. If you're going to kill me, let me die a warrior's death in Ja'ula's name. Why does she deserve such loyalty from you? When Bobat brought dishonor to the house, everyone within it suffered. We were shunned, cast out, abandoned. Like her brother before her, Ja'ula is giving the dishonored a chance for redemption. I will fight and die for her if it brings back honor to my house. I see. You are a prisoner now, but you need not be a prisoner without honor. We require the security passcode. If you give it to us now, I will protect you from Jempok's wrath. I do not wish to spend my days in the depths of Rura Pente. You swear to protect me. I will tell you where you can get the code. You have my word. And mine. Once we have what we need, you will be released from the Rotarin's brig. Very well. There is a Mokai officer. Stationed closer to Ja'ula's sanctum. One of Ja'ula's best. He has what you seek. One last thing. Warrior to warrior. Do not destroy Ja'ula. You must know her cause is just. Give her a chance to prove it. We shall see. Another prisoner for transport, General. There's more to Ja'ula than I believe. She clearly inspires loyalty in her own forces and has convinced many others to forsake their own house and follow hers. I'm picking up life signs. They aren't far from here. That's probably where the Mokai officer is hiding. All right, let's move out. Come on, Kigan. 
Thank you. Let's go, guys. I already lost the rack. That's alright. As long as I got this amount of people, I'll be fine. We must defend the inner sanctum! Well, at least we know we're on the right path. running out of time and patience, which puts you in an unpleasant situation. I require the security passcode, and you are going to give it to me. As they used to say in the old days, choose your pay. Poor General Martok, fatigued by the weight of his villainy. Go scream at the wind, old man. I have nothing for you but insults and scorn. Arrogant and unwise. That hole in your face is making noise, Tonsa. It is irritating. If I could get my hands on you, I'd silence it forever. Do you have the code or not? I do, but I'd sooner dwell in Kresso than give it up to Pak Tag like you. And you, Martok, lackey of Jim Pak. How toothless you are, serving that piece of Watsha. You should have stayed in God's prison if you wanted a life of dishonor. It would have been safer for you, old man. I'd advise you to stop taunting the general while you're able to. You're wasting your breath. He's chosen his pain, and I'm going to deliver it to him. Last chance. I'd talk if I were you. You're bluffing. There is no honor in beating a captured prisoner. There is no honor in being a captured prisoner. Are you ready for eternity in Grethor? You're serious. I can see it in your eyes. You're both willing to dishonor yourselves to get what Jim Pak wants. Kia! Passcode. Now. Very well. I'll give you what you want. 154. Wise choice. Beam this one directly to the brig, General. That console must be nearby. Search the surrounding area. One, five, four. Unlocking. Uh oh. Your bloodthirst has caused enough trouble. My bloodthirst is what keeps us alive. We are Klingons, not spineless Ka. Or have you forgotten? Consider your next words to me very carefully, Akka, for they may be your last. I hope we're not interrupting anything important. <laughs> The fabled General Martok, the man who should be Tatsuma. What a disappointment you are. Have you come to bring me to justice? You and your laggies. More fools chasing Jim Park's blood money. Surrender while you can, Matriarch. Surrender to the likes of you? I think you overestimate your chances. Uh-huh. Surrender, or fight, if you have the spine for it. 
Uh oh. You are on the wrong side of history here. This someone fired on the adventure. Some failure. Woman, I've had enough of your weakness. It's time. Kill them all. Experience me. Quit trap. Filthy Mark Free. You will pay for this. Rack, we need to get you up, guy. Son of none. Interesting. That filthy lie, Tuck I will send him torn and bleeding to the deepest depths of Grafor! He may have swayed some of my crew with his words, but not all. Not yet. I need to leave this place and secure my ship. You seem to be forgetting that you're our prisoner. We don't have time for your games, fool! If I don't secure my ship, and quickly, Akar will. And you've already seen what he will do with the mycelial weapon. Yes, it was he who gave the order to fire on Kufat, not I! What do you mean? My lady, the battle goes poorly. We must withdraw. Let's leave them something to deal with while we do. Gunner, target the shipyard and fire the weapon! Belayed at order. Target the city as we discussed. Yes, cousin. <laughs> Gunner, what have you done? I ordered you to target the shipyard! Dishonor of a backtag! That city! The civilians! There were no civilians on Kuvat, my lady. There were only Klingons. And all Klingons are warriors. You would be wise to remember that. Now every warrior in the Empire will know the price of standing against you. And what price will we pay for this, Akka? And will we pay it here, or in Grethel? If we are victorious, it would be a small price Enough! To... Get us out of here! Maximum one! Now! <laughs> 